quick little update. Took the Transition Sentinel with bar mitts with the All City Super Pro over to Arcane Moto. They are going to strip my frame and powder coat it. So here it is. All the parts are taken off. Gonna say goodbye to that ugly, ugly color I most definitely dislike. And we're going to totally remove all the paint and put a clear coat over the raw metal. It's probably gonna look more like a brownish dark color than, uh, than like a silver raw metal look, but it should be cool. Then I rode through Queens. I think this is uh, Highland Park. This is actually Brooklyn, but it'll drop us into Queens, the Ridgewood area. And in, it was crazy looking. Look at the fog. <laughs> This fog, it's low-lying fog, low to the snow. It's so weird, because it's so warm today. It's like melting, so it's like foggy right above the snow. It's such a trip. After watching this video, why the heck is my face so red in that clip? <laughs> weird. Myrtle Wyckoff, that's the M train above where I went to my old stomping grounds and got myself some mixtape. Those of you familiar with the morning routine know all about this spot. What's up, Lynn? He hooked me up with a lox bagel and an espresso. Then I went to the studio. All right, I want to talk to you about a problem that I have. I have dirty bikes and I am terrible at cleaning said dirty bikes. It's not really my fault. I live in New York, and you've seen me do a bike wash video in the past. You gotta go to a car wash. Um, I live in a, a place where there's no hose hookups. I don't have an area to spray my bike down. I have no access to water. The only way I can do that is possibly bring it into a shower. It's just, it doesn't work very well. I do have a solution for this. I just got this in the mail. This is the works and it's a power washer and this thing is most excellent. Muck off is my preferred bike cleaning solution. Do you agree? I agree. You know it. Uh, well I mean let's see how it let's see how it performs. I'll be the I'll be the skeptic. You gotta impress me. Okay, so this little hose goes into the water source. You can hook this up to a hose if you had one, but this is New York. We all don't have hoses here. And the other end is connected to this battery operated guy. So my bike has been sitting with dirt on it for a few days. So it's always good to uh, spray it down first with some water. So I got this on here got a bunch of different angles of spray. I guess we'll start at the 25 degree. I think that's the best one. And uh, just spray away. It takes a second for the water to get pulled all the way through the hose, so. More weird. Halfway done, I forgot to mention, I. Uh, broke my seat post guts earlier today. That's why the seat's not on there right now. Um, gonna have to fix that later. <laughs> All right, everything is wet. So now we're gonna put this on here. I already put the muck off in here, so. This should mix the muck off with the water. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, I've never been so excited about washing my bike. Okay, so there's another brush the kit comes with. It sprays water with it, but I also have this really uh, soft bristle muck off brush. I'm gonna use this. All right, we don't really have a drivetrain cleaner. We're not really cleaning the drivetrain. If you were to do that, you'd put another solution on the chain and kind of run it through, but. 
drive train's all right for now. Okay, gonna put this guy back on and uh, we will be done with this. Just a little uh, food for thought. Uh, Work X and Muck Off did not send me these products. Uh, this is actually something that I like and use. What do you think? Does it look clean, Eric? Pretty good? Pretty good. Very good. Um, Very this good. is, you know, it's gonna look a little different when it rubs off. I saw that I did miss this area here where there's a lot of brake wear. Um, so I could, I could rub that off, but that's, you know, I'm guilty of having a dirty bike and this is really helping me out because, I mean, look at this bike now. It is fresh to death. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this. I got this on Amazon, Work X, and the muck off I bought locally from King Cog, which you can get this at any local bike shop most likely. For a bucket, we used the five gallon thing of uh, Poland Spring and as you can see, I only used about two and a half gallons to wash my bike, which is way less than you'd probably use if you had a hose. So I think it helps to not abuse the water because your hose isn't just constantly running. One note about this, I didn't get this to clean my bike here on the roof. This is actually going in uh, a buddy Amir's car. So when we're out riding mountain bikes on the trails, we can bring this with us with a little bit of water and we can quickly spray down our bikes. We won't do the full soap down, but we'll bring it just to wash the, the dry dirt off of our bikes. All right, now that the bike is all clean, let's put some new parts on it. All right, it's time for these plastic pedals to go. We're gonna put some metal ones. These are some, the one-ups. Love these pedals. An easy way to remember how to take a pedal off is if you turn the pedal towards the front wheel, it tightens. So this way, it tightens no matter what. No matter what side of the bike you're on, if you turn whatever wrench or T-handle towards the front wheel, you're always tightening the pedal. And if you turn towards the back wheel, you're always loosening the pedal no matter what side of the bike on you're on and no matter what side, no matter what pedal you're turning. T-handle in, turn towards the back wheel. There we go, nice and loose right off same with the non drive side turn towards the back wheel and your pedal comes off and you drop your tools on the ground so here's the old pedals you can see that I've been really rubbing this one into the corners. Those will go on the uh, Cannondale e-bike now. Here are the new ones. These ones are metal. Looks like the bearing here is much larger than all the plastic ones. For reference, the plastic, the new metal ones. Remember to apply grease when uh, putting your pedals back on. Also remember, towards the front wheel to tighten. Next up is this engine 35 millimeter clamp. It's a 40 mil stem. It's like a root beer color. Got this at the Philly Bike Expo. Made in Pennsylvania. That will look really nice on that bike. First, I have to take off this EDC uh, top cap. It's threaded onto the steer tube, so you have to use a cassette tool. Twist. 
All right, so that's all the bike updates for this week. Um, hopefully this weather chills out so we can get on some rides, but it's been snowing and really gross. Wet, salty ground and grime. Um, anyways, hope you like the new stem on the bike and hope to see you guys soon. I heard Monster Track is coming. Peace. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.